Hey everyone, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect presented by United, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players. Our guest this week is competing in his first major championship, the PGA at Kiowa Island, and he's a South Carolina guy to boot. William McGurr joins us. And uh, William, it's got to be a special feeling to sort of return home this week as the conquering hero in your first major, huh? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, to play my first major championship, in my adopted home state of South Carolina makes it even more special. A lot of questions from uh, Williams fans. Uh, let's jump right in. The first one comes through Facebook from Jason Newsom. He says, will this be the most nervous you've ever been to start a golf tournament? You know, I really don't think so. Um, I, I'm a little nervous every single tournament, uh, pretty much every round when I tee off. So I think if you don't have any nerves, then uh, something's wrong. But. You know, I'm not treating this any different than any other week. You know, it is a major, it is uh, my first major, and it is in my home state. But, uh, you know, we have the heritage here, and I played Charlotte and uh, Greensboro both in front of a lot of a lot of friends and family. So looking forward to it. I'm not trying to do anything extra or uh, trying to put any more pressure on myself this week. So just looking to have fun and enjoy it. William McGirt, our guest, best finish on the PGA Tour just a couple of weeks ago at the RBC Canadian Open, finished uh, tied for second. Here's a question that comes in through the tour report from Tyson Thielorn. A couple of weeks ago, he says, when you were in contention, one of the announcers made reference to you being well-liked on tour. Who were some of the easier guys to be paired with? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I get along with most everybody out here. So, uh, yeah, there, there aren't many guys that I could say anything bad about. I enjoy playing with just about everybody uh, out here. and. Um, you know, obviously a guy like Steve Stricker, pretty easy guy to get along with. Um, you know, Jared Lyle, my good friend who has uh, leukemia right now, he's battling in Australia. Jared's one of my favorite guys to play with. Play a lot with Will Claxton, Bobby Gates, um, guys like that. And I had a blast playing with uh, Padraig Harrington all three days at the Barclays last year. William McGurk, by the way, gets his uh, first major championship going Thursday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time alongside Robert Allenby and Paul Scaletta. There's a quick question that comes in through Facebook from uh, Gary Cannon. He says, need a caddy? I'm available. <laughs> no, uh, Brandon, uh, my caddy's been with me since uh, Sony last year and uh, pretty happy with everything he does and uh, keeps me calm and kind of knows what to say at the right time. All right, sorry about that, Gary. Uh, Williams got it covered uh, in his first major this week. He is uh, a resident of Boiling Springs, South Carolina. William McGirt, our guest this week. Here's one that comes in through Twitter from at GolfNuts16. He says, hey, my buddies and I are considering a golf vacation in South Carolina. William, any hidden gems they might play? Well, I think a good place to start would be here at Kiowa. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good courses down around Hilton Head as well. Uh, Myrtle Beach is another good spot. Um, it, pretty much anywhere along the coast here in South Carolina would be great. That second place finish at the uh, Canadian Open for William McGirt lifted him to 63rd in the FedEx Cup points race. Uh, he played in two playoff events last year and looking to move a little deeper in the playoffs this year. Question through the tour report from Richard Miller. During the RBC, he says, you had a lot of names, it seemed. Willie, William, Dirt. Which one do you prefer? I prefer William. Um, I, I really don't like the nickname Dirt at all. Um, I just, it, it's, I despise it to be honest with you. <laughs> How did it get started and when? Uh, I think Charlie Reimer was the one that started it. And uh, I had a little talk with Charlie and I said, hey, do you mind backing off of it? And uh, you know, now McCord's kind of taking it and run with it. So I may be stuck. All right. Well, we'll see how it, uh, it unfolds this week during the uh, television coverage. Uh, William McGurr played his college golf in South Carolina as well, was uh, part of the Wofford Terriers golf team outside of Greenville there. He was actually offered scholarships in both golf and baseball. And there's a young man this week named Drake McCormick who writes in through Facebook, William. He says, uh, how is it playing there? Is the school, as far as academics and the overall atmosphere, a good one because he's very interested in going to Wofford? Well, first of all, Wofford's one of the best academic institutions in the South. Um, you know, there, there are no classes that you can just kind of hide and uh, sneak by. So you really have to do a lot of studying. Um, you know, athletically, we're pretty darn competitive, uh, especially for, for one of the smallest Division I schools. Um, our football program, I think, has made the playoffs four or five times. 
in the last 10 years in uh, Division One AA. So you know, athletically, uh, you know, we're able to compete pretty well, especially for for a school our size. And uh, academically, I think most people would put us up against most any other uh, school in the country. A lot of questions and a lot of well wishes from William McGirt's fans in South Carolina this week. We had to filter it down to just a few. Uh, here's one more. Let's sneak this one in. It comes through the tour report from Fred Benfeld. And uh, William, I'm sure you know who that is. He says all the members oh, yeah. of Thornblade Club are immensely proud of your hard-earned success. We're equally proud of all your charitable efforts, especially for those special needs kids at Camp Spearhead. Now, how is that summer program for the kids going and shaping up for you in Greenville this year? Well, Camp Spearhead's a great organization. They do a lot for uh, kids with special needs. You know, I really can't tell you how hard they work for uh, for these kids who are, you know, that can't quite do everything for themselves. Um, and Fred has a daughter with special needs, and uh, you know, he's, he's really the one that got me involved with that. Uh, started with a charity golf tournament that he runs at Thornblade, and um, you know, I've tried to tried to get their name out there as much as possible and uh, help them out any way I can. Well, consider it done. He's an easy guy to root for, William McGirt, playing in his first major championship at Kiwa Island in his home state of South Carolina. William, best of luck to you. Have a good go at it, and thanks for connecting with us. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on.